Hey, uh, it's William Jamming. Welcome to Learn Digital Art. So um, you're watching a series of video of uh, 1,000 tubes of uh, Procreate. And uh, in this video, I'm going to share a one very, very interesting and powerful tool that can add so much more uh, to your um, illustrations. So say, for example, if I, uh, I want to uh, draw something like the, uh, like a cute um, character, uh, I'm going to use the studio pen and to uh, say it's a very cute, you know, a monster, something like that, and 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 yeah, the air, something like that, and uh, yeah, we don't need to like auto correct. We're rather using, just using this, okay, and uh, something like that, okay, and uh, things is uh, like a very cute character. Um, uh, I can do something like the drop the color inside, okay? So I just, uh, maybe a pinkish character, okay? Uh, maybe that's too much. I should get a, like a lighter um, background color. And um, then, yeah, let's, let's just to quickly get this done, okay? So, then be the eye. You got a one, got two. Okay, and uh, you can just uh, drag the character. Okay, uh, something like that. And uh, maybe some of the... Okay, a uh, little cute monster. Okay, you can just... Okay. And of course, you can add some sort of a uh, shadowy area, uh, just to make it darker, and uh, maybe here, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, we need um, something like this. We just need to uh, make it a little bit, yeah, darker. And then, of course, you can drop on the line as well. So you can drop on this line. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we can't drop on the line. Yeah. Let me think about this. Um, maybe not to use a very um, like prominent line, but rather a really thin one. So we'll get to, um, you know, too much. Um, using this color, make it a little bit darker. We have to. Maybe select tool. Select, and uh, then I can feel uh, the color. Yeah, uh, that, that's, that's pretty good. And then of course you can uh, add the. Um, let me just use uh, some sort of reflection. Okay. And get the color. Okay, looks pretty good. Uh, you can even add some sort of uh, like a blush like that okay uh, so <laughs> yeah I know uh, it's, uh, it's it's not uh, perfect but I just want to like have a, like a basic scene so you can uh, you can you can uh, you know walk on this okay uh, right now uh, right now uh, let me just use like a pinkish color okay right now uh, it's kind of okay but it do lack a some sort of a texture feeling okay so how to add texture feeling uh, you can add another uh, layer above and um, you are uh, got a uh, uh, the, the quickest and simpler way just to add some sort of like a gray color okay you you just cover completely cover everything and then you adjust that to the uh, overlay okay once you just do overlay, it doesn't seem to change anything at all. But 
you can adjust that by adding noise. Uh, right now, if you look at here, we don't seem to have a lot of noise. Uh, that's because that's because we haven't added noise yet. So you can click and drag, so you can see the noise uh, got like a higher, and you can uh, already see uh, some sort of a texture pattern on it. And uh, I've seen a lot of illustrations, uh, artists that's using this technique. Um, uh, and at the end, the result is pretty good. So uh, you do have some sort of texture on it. And of course, you can, you can change the noise to have a, a better uh, feeling for the texture. So right now it's a cloud, you can use like a billow, okay? And of course you can use the uh, ridges. That really depends on your art style first. The second is that you can change the uh, um, opacity to make it more texture or less texture. That really depends on you. And uh, third is that while you are adding, okay, let me just do that again. So while you're adding noise, you can change the scale as well. So first you can add the noise and then you can change the scale of the noise. So you can get it like really big, but that really uh, doesn't, I just want to show you that's what is really uh, noisy. So you can use like a bellow, you can use just um, ridges. And uh, then you can change the scale as well, change your octave, okay? Um, basically just adding more detail. But I believe uh, if you add more detail, you just need to like scale it down like, um, the, the, because this texture is not like uh, adding uh, all these patterns. Then turbulence, you can like decrease that so it will be smooth. If you want like be really like a, like a grain of sand sort of feeling, you can like increase the turbulence, okay? And then you can like uh, scale it down. Uh, I prefer not scale it down too much like this. And then you can uh, like decrease uh, the opacity to give a, a slight of a hint. And uh, remember, this layer is above, so you can just uh, um, finish the drawing. Uh, and at the end, at the end step, you add this uh, overlay, uh, so you can have uh, some sort of a texture, um, uh, kind of like a, you will paint on a uh, like a real piece of paper, and the uh, paper have some sort of a texture. You can get that sort of amazing feeling. Okay, and I uh, hope this video is helpful. And uh, if you think my video is helpful, do please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Okay, bye.